Ooh, what the heck is that thing? So I'm still on my little road trip and I'm headed up to see Captain Billy up in Maine along the coast. And I talked to him yesterday and he said that uh, there's no snow up here. <laughs> Wish me luck with digging. I hope he's not pulling my leg. You know, Captain Billy. That looks like snow there to me. Look who I found. <laughs> Captain Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for inviting me up here, man. Good to have I, you. I made it up. It's been a while. Way I, too long. It has. It has. You know, I was talking on the way up about how you, you said there's no snow up here. And when I was driving, there was like three feet of snow everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Billy. You're on the coast. <laughs> but now. You, we're good now, though. Just a couple Ooh. little snow drifts. So we're good to go. Uh, yeah, so Billy, see, this is new permission for you. Branch banker. I don't think she's ever been dug. So uh, that's the uh, cellar hole there. And there's like a well or something down in the field we just looked at. We'll look at that in a minute, but. And checked around and found like four good signals. So I said, well, it probably hasn't been hit. So let's, so let's check them out. Mark a couple of them and I'll go and check them. We'll dig them up and see what's there. Yeah, let's do it. This is awesome. <laughs> My stomach already hurts because I've been laughing so much already. <laughs> <laughs> see if we can find them again. <laughs> Weren't you saying that the, uh, it was like a really old timer in the area that, Remember the house here by back in the 40s or something? Yeah, there's a, a fellow that lives here that's a caretaker to some of the houses here, and he said that he remembers when he was a young fella, this house was still standing, but it was just barely up. He said it was an old one, even back then. Even back then? Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to find probably silver coins and stuff all around it. Silver and, coins, uh, uh, buttons, probably some George Washington inauguration <laughs> buttons, uh, reals, eight. Four, well, let's see two, that signal one, you got. Half. Let's see that signal you got, Mark. Okay, he's got me all excited now. <laughs> see what we got. I think it's kind of big. It sounded like you were getting a signal pretty high. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that was a spur. <laughs> it is, is it? No. <laughs> Man, it's a heck of that's a chunk a nice, of uh, brass, though. Nice is it brass? brass? Yeah. Yeah, it's got those little things any, things in there tighten up, so that's not going to be too terribly old. Any, heck of a signal. Any good detectorist would yeah. have dug that. Oh, absolutely. Well, <laughs> absolutely. If I, if I can stand up. not been dug. <laughs> yep. Let's take a look at this foundation over here, because like I said, I don't know if I uh, the first part of the video came, came out. i got to be careful, because I stepped on something there that shifted underfoot so hopefully that's not like a well uh yeah but anyway this is the foundation that we're going to detect this old cellar hole supposedly house was gone around the 1940s or so they think but you see this nice big foundation l-shaped comes down to here goes out that way uh dry laid stones a lot of trash in it we might dig around because i can see a bottle down there we'll go down and look at that after a bit i was gonna see what billy's digging is something good a little smaller signal, yeah. Oh, good, excellent. Oh, there she is. What is it? <gasps> oh, sardine tin. Sardine can. Uh, you know, I had sardines on the way over this morning. <laughs> it top looked just like that, Billy. <laughs> no, I didn't put it out here. All right, what I'm going to do, uh, let's go grab the machine and uh, we'll get at it too. But I'm going to show you a well that went to this house before we get started because I don't want to forget. And right over here is a well. It's like there's nothing around it. It's kind of really weird, but it's got water in it. I don't know how deep it is, but it looks like it could be over my head. I'm really surprised they don't have a fence around that or some rocks or have, should have filled it in. That seems really dangerous to me. Over here we have another foundation. This could have been a barn or something. Ooh, is that a bottle? No, that's trash. But uh, it could have been a barn or something. So we'll look over here. See if we can find anything with a metal detector. This is an old uh, motor engine of some kind. Some of you guys probably know what that is already. I don't know for sure. Huh, kind of neat. I look good on the, uh, in the old relic room. I have to gather that up. Okay, let's go up here and uh, grab the detector and we'll look around a little bit. There's actually another well right over there. We'll look at it in a minute. Got some rocks around it. Uh, we saw it when we were walking around a few minutes ago. 
Okay, we're going to be using the uh, Garrett AT Max today. I have zero program, zero discrimination. I might bump that up a little bit. Um, the headphones are disconnected right now because I just want you to listen uh, to the ground here so you can hear what's in here. It's, there's a lot of iron. Those low grunts, that's iron. That's all iron. Right in here, I did get a really nice squeaker though, so it might be a coin. Let's you, let you listen to this. Somewhere. It's, my shovel's right here, so it's... Alright, right there. Nice high number. And it's not terribly big, like a can. So I'm suspecting that could be um, a little coin right there. And we're going to dig this together, and then I'm going to go ahead and hunt on my own. Until we find something. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a coin. I don't think it's a sardine lid. <laughs> All right. Okay, ready? Till on the ground. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn turn it off and set you up, and we'll get the uh, pinpointer out. All right, you ready? Get the pinpointer. Right in here. Okay. Oh no. Okay, definitely not a coin, but it is something brassy. Let's see what it is. That, my friend, is a doodad. Actually, I don't know what that is. <laughs> is that a coin? <laughs> All right, so um, I'm not sure, but I guess that this is a lens that was in here. I'm not sure what that is. Um, kind of a brass, moderately heavy threaded i think it's threaded is it almost like a cap or something yeah if you guys know let me know i'll get a good picture of it for you take an idea better but um, i'm not sure what that is beautiful sound though that signal here but i think it's just uh this big old uh, like cable that might be a copper cable on the inside because it squeaked pretty good i'm not going to dig that all the way up um we'll just rebury it <laughs> There we go. I wanted to show you something up here, though. Something else. When Billy and I were walking around when we first got here, we saw a top to a bottle. Yeah, here we are. So here's an old cork top bottle. It's a medicine bottle of some sort. So there's a chance we could find some bottles in here. So I just pitch it down into the trash pile. There's probably some more pieces. That's some type of thick like window glass of some sort. See how flat it is. All right, um, tell you what, while we're here, before I forget, let's go ahead and get down in there and see what that bottle is. See if it's old enough to keep, or if it's just an old beer bottle from like 10 years ago. <laughs> it almost fell over. Man, this is still frozen in here. If I could see the top, I'd know. Wouldn't have to get down in here, but I'm suspecting it's a fairly modern bottle. What do you think? Ah, oh, yeah. So that would have had a label on it. Screw top. Probably a beer bottle, I guess. We'll leave it there. Huh. Okay. Get back to digging. Let's <laughs> get out of here. All right. Here we go. What's that? Some leather? I guess those are pieces of a shoe. I always like to check because it could be like harness leather, it could be buckles on it, cool stuff like that, but that's just a just a shoe. Some more pieces of it over here. Here's a big old piece of uh it's probably zinc. It could be copper, I guess. I uh, got a few nail holes in it right there. Could have gone to something like that that's a little bit older it was made out of wood um not anything i'm going to keep though i think i'll just leave it here in the uh, junk pile well i'll put it in the bag for now the um property owner is going to come out here after a bit and i'll show it to her if she wants to keep it she can have it otherwise i don't really want it probably worth about seven cents scrap value it all adds up though so i just dug this uh piece of lead plating 
it's got a bunch of nail holes in it so someone took this and and nailed it over uh maybe a hole in some wood possibly you know rectangular, rectangular rat hole not a rat that's rectangular but maybe a hole that was somewhat re rectangular that's just a guess it's hard to say what it is really here's another piece of that lead that was just on the surface there's heard it squeak but I just reached out and picked it up same type of thing it's got a bunch of little like whole homemade nail holes all around it I always think that there are uh, patches for mice and rats in the walls because um, I've seen that done many many times a lot of times people will use uh, tin cans that they'll cut open and flatten out and use those for covering rat holes I mean I've done that before on the old farm I lived on but not 100% on that, but it's definitely lead. I'll throw that in the bag. Might be able to make some fishing sinkers out of that. It's had a big squeaker right here, so I went ahead and dug it up. I think it's just going to be some more of that copper sheeting. But I thought we'd look at it together. You see, I hit it with a shovel. It almost reminds me of a... Look, it's got little nail holes in those, too. Like just random nail holes in it. I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna go ahead and keep these just for the heck of it because I don't know what it is. I guess it's not copper because it's, can, uh, shine. it's not copper color. I don't know what kind of metal that is. I yeah, might be able to use that for something. I'll say that. I'm gonna walk it down here to the vehicle though. All right. Silver coins coming up. I can feel it. So I've been digging around for a while. I'm not really finding anything that's great. I came down here to the well and there's like pieces of tractors and stuff around here. I've been working this flat area down below the house where the driveway comes in, hoping that, you know, maybe there'd be some coins in this area. I haven't found any yet, but I do have something shiny here. I thought we'd look at together. Right there, I think that's what I'm hearing. No idea what it is yet. I'm not, don't have any high hopes, but oh gosh it's aluminum for sure might be part of a uh, antenna or something maybe you can see it's definitely been uh, it's got a split in it, it's folded over it could be aluminum uh, like a tv antenna that's what i'm thinking yeah that's not too good sounded great though uh billy's already working in the field to see if there's another better spot out there um there's just too much junk here i mean this could be an old house we don't know but there's a lot of junk on top. And who's got time for that? Right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh, a lot of junk around here, man. Yes, I hate fighting the iron. Yeah, it's uh, getting a lot of like sheets of uh, like copper and le uh, lead sheets and stuff. Yeah. Nothing like super it's, old though. Nothing super old, like a big loop around there. I'd say there's been plenty of deer shot at in these woods. <laughs> a lot of bullets out there. Yeah, I got a bag full of them. Oh man. I don't know. Have you done anything at all in this iron? Uh, yeah, I got a bag full of junk, but it's all like 1940s. 40s. I'd say, yeah, 40s. Maybe, you know, depression era. Maybe a little earlier, yeah. depression era stuff. A lot of just stuff, pull tabs, pieces of tractor. Um, Ready to get out of here? Well, how about that little hill over there? You want to check it out real sure. quick? Or? Sure, there was some iron there. I don't know. Yeah, let's check it out. I mean, there's probably stuff here, but there's just a lot of junk on top. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was getting a headache yeah. fighting that iron, you know? Yeah. All right, uh, there's another little uh, hill over here we're going to go check out close to a road. I'm not going to exactly show it to you because I don't want to, uh, you know, the homeowners and the property owners, I want to keep them a little bit private. And so, Billy didn't have too much competition out here on the site. <laughs> yeah, Billy had found this, uh, I guess, out in the field. And it's a little, like, hubcap to a Ford. I mean, if it was in good shape, I might keep it, but it's pretty bad, isn't it? It's all yours. So, yeah. I appreciate it, man, but... I think bag it. Properly disposed. Bag, bag, it, tag it. <laughs> That's the foundation we just came from over there. Um, kind of on a little knoll. That's where the barn was. So we just wanted to check out here real quick. You know, see you're not here much. Not much iron. Not a lot of iron now that I'm ground balanced. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, but... that does help. We just thought this little knoll right here would be real good. It's close to the road. And of course, it's up high enough that, you know, your basement wouldn't be flooded. But Billy says he's not getting much, so. Little uh, area here where I think that they plant wildflowers or something. I was walking along looking to see if there's any redware or pottery, old nails or anything like that in here. And I just don't see anything at all. 
that would indicate to me there's a dwelling here, wherever has been a dwelling here. Not just a quick visual survey. Yeah, so Billy's got a little uh, signal there. It's, he says it's kind of really scratchy, but we're going to dig it just to see what it is. Because if it's like, even if it's an old piece of scratchy, I'll go get my machine and look around for some old piece of uh, shinies. Still down there? A good sign when it's worse, when you flip over the is it? I'll see what it is. See if it's old or not. What's that? I thought that was a piece of pottery, which is the wet rock. Mm. A lot of shale in here. Yeah. Oh, it's a hard thing, it? It's frost. <laughs> you, you notice I'm just watching. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Where is it? <gasps> there it is. Is it an old one? A little scratchy? Of course, being along the road like this, it could be just a shredded can, huh? That's small. That's one. It's a rivet. No, it's not. Is it? Yeah. No so it's, there's it's two. It looks like it's two rivets together, sure, and the yeah. center is probably the leather. Yeah. It's funny because I found something almost identical to that yesterday uh, when it's in Massachusetts. It's like two rivets together with leather. You know, most so. of the stuff that we find it was lost in Massachusetts. The stuff up here. Right. Up here in That's Maine. What we're looking for. We're not looking for this stuff because this was lost in Maine. We need to find the stuff that was lost in Massachusetts. Think about that. <laughs> we'll get back to that one after a bit. That's kind of confusing, isn't it? Slightly new location, and we got we found somebody on the side of the road. You remember him? Yeah. Put <laughs> on your socks, grab your time to find some history. <laughs> <laughs> He's so bad. He is so bad. All right, Billy, you got yourself a signal? <laughs> I hear it. Can you hear it? Yeah. That's the first signal. All right. Sounds let's... like a coin all day. All right, let's see what you got. Careful to dig a nice little plug because we're in somebody's yard. What is it? Oh, that's pretty cool. What is that? Some sort of a contact. Oh. Not what we're looking for. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, Billy. So they do still have some snow here and the ground is still frozen in places so um apparently there's like a little field around back that i'm gonna go work my way that way the, get a large scent large target oh Jank. <laughs> Bring it up there, Could be a right. go check this out real quick and then we'll grab a machine go out in the field and find an old home site with dang billy 80 81 <laughs> found that lane on the top of the Double grass range. there you go billy what is it? Oh, yeah. <gasps> it's a plate. It's a war Oh, it's a spoon. Okay. That's cool. Is that silver? It's, I don't know. It looks kind of like silver. Silver, eh? It is silver. Hey, it is silver. It is, by the jumping. I think you were born with that right, right there in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, now it was you, Billy. <laughs> you know, I, I think it is pure silver, man. It's not plate. But look, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. It's got a uh, name on it, or initials at least. Oh, it sure does. Say Chig? No, it's some bow guy. I'm not sure who that <laughs> is. <laughs> the, uh, the homeowner here, uh, has she been here for a while? I wonder if we could. I, I could probably be older her than her, but. Part of her family. Yeah, yeah, we should do that before is, we go. We have this. Yeah. Solid silver spoon. I'm going to get my machine, that's man. Civil War era. Yeah, yeah, that's sure. old. That's an oldie. Yeah. Yeah, let's go grab, let's, let's go grab the metal detector. <laughs> what do you have, Mr. Torn? You don't even want to Oh, no, it's dude. A it's a beauty. Let's see. Oh, wow. yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's a... I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> it's like a fishing lure to me. Dude. It's a beauty. 
<laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I thought it was like an Indian tinkler, like a thing when I first saw it, you know? Yeah, no, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, just a little different. Yeah, a little different than fishing. <laughs> is it? I don't know. It kind of seems Let's like see. a, I don't know, piece of junk. Oh my God, yeah, that thing's sharp. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Here, why don't you take it? Yeah, that's electrical, isn't it? Yeah, that's wonderful, man. Another screamer. <laughs> All right, let's see what Billy's doing. Another screamer. I guess boom, man. That's awesome. That ground's nice and soft here. Isn't it just like butter? Yeah. Ooh. Still in the hole. That's a squeaker. Hey, watch your fingers, dude. Is that it? You see it? Uh, a little silver coin. Oh. No, oh, it is. What is it? It's another piece of silver. What is it? <laughs> it is Whatever silver. Whatever it is, it? I think I just broke it in half, but it is silver. Oh, it's a little silver is car. It? Is it really? Wow. I think that's, that's a cool. Dodge you see K car. It? Yeah, it's not silver. Actually, it kind of feels like... Doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's a real high squeak, well, huh? It might have a hallmark on it. Oh, yeah, she's ripping. Yeah, it's a nice high squeak. That's pretty cool, Billy. It's hard. I've never, never seen anything quite like that. Well, I don't see any hallmark on it. But, yeah. And it's, you know... Don't break it, don't do it. Jeez, Billy. It's <laughs> like, just bend it and break it in half. That's kind of cool, man. Yeah. It's a cake. It is a cake. Is it a cake car? Two on it. Really? See that? K two. I wonder what it went to. Boy, I say it almost really does look like silver, but I can't imagine it is. Huh? That's pretty neat. I've never seen one of those. Have you? Never seen it. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get my metal detector now. Uh, that's where Billy found that piece of silver spoon, and I found the sledgehammer and the leaves behind me. I'll give that to the homeowner. This is my first. Nice high squeaker right here. I thought we'd go ahead and dig it together. It's pretty uh, low 80s and it's nice tight signals. Not you know not too big, so it could be a coin or another silver spoon. Okay, that might be it right there. Is it? Huh, what is it? <laughs> oh, that's cool. So we have a little buckle. Yep, yeah, that's a little buckle. It's got a iron tongue on it. Now, I think it's a uh, slightly older design, too. That could be a harness buckle, or heck, that could even be someone's belt buckle, really. That's pretty sweet right there. Hey, bad. Let's just hunt this little area real quick. There's a big field, too, behind the house. We're going to go in in a little bit, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to work this area since uh, there was some silver found. And that buckle there is pretty nice. I like that, too. Another nice high signal right here. Not too far from where I uh, found it buckle, so that could be something good too. It's got a pretty tight, so it's not it's not like a piece of can, something smaller and solid. There we go. Whoops. I should have gotten it, I would think. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. I'm bouncing around a little bit right now, but oh there it is. I wonder what it is. Hope it's on a razor blade. That, my friend, is a piece of junk. That's what that is. You know what? That's Is that a razor blade holder? Kind of looks like it, but I'm eh, not sure what that is. Hmm. Not the best find of the day, uh, but we'll take it for now. I just dug this big, uh, it's like coppery, brassy thing. I suspect it's going to be a thermostat out of a vehicle or something like that pretty sure that that's what that is not 100 percent, but uh it's not quite as old as what i'd like to find but we'll throw it in a bag for now <laughs> i have a little coin right here i don't know if it's going to be it's a penny of some sort i don't know if it's just going to be a wheat hopefully at least a wheat penny probably not an indian head and hopefully not just a memorial what is it <laughs> um boy I'm not sure that's going to be something weird because it's almost smooth. 
Not sure whether it's going to be maybe a Canadian coin. What do you see? Oh, sure enough, it's a maple leaf. <laughs> I believe. So that's going to be like a Canadian scent. You know, not very old. What do you think of that? Yeah. It's uh, might be lead filled. Let me see. Sure. Hmm. I think it's going to be based to like a lamp or something. If I had to guess. I think it's going to be... Is that fit, solid? Seems to be. Yes, that looks like looks like iron right there. Yeah, iron, yep. I mean, it just looks like a little decorative base to something to me. Sure, but yeah, you're right. I could be wrong about that, but yeah. it's a pretty neat. You're probably not wrong about that. Sweet. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Little River Vet Clinic, Perry, Maine, by the She USA. <laughs> it's a rabies vaccination. Cool. Awesome. Now, I hear... check. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I feel like freaking Paul Bunyan whacking at the ice so long here, yeah, you know? So, I'm not a sponsor for Predator Shovels, but if there was a sponsor, this would do it. Cause, uh, you like Predators? Well, I like the edge there, you know? Yeah. But I oh, wow. chiseled it, chiseled it, chiseled it, chiseled it, chiseled it. Got it down to here oh. and the oh, coin finally yeah. popped out. So Silver. Yeah, she's something. I don't know. I, I definitely, oh, no, maybe it didn't. Oh, oh so, yeah. Oh, that's a barber. That's nice. Huh. Mm, just a barber. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another junky barber? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take you if you want it. Yeah, heads and yeah, tails. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it back. Don't worry. <laughs> that's still a good find, man. Yeah. Yeah. At least it's going now. Yep, that's for sure. Kids. Like the ding ding. A ding ding. Uh, What's a bike? ding ding? Uh, on their bike? Oh, you know? oh, a ding ding. Yeah, a ding yeah, ding. Yeah, a ding ding. You know, <laughs> that's the way she goes. Yeah. It's lovely. Oh, yeah, talker. Gosh. That's a beautiful signal, though. Yeah, it's out here. But... I, I got a little silver signal over here where I'm at. Oh, well, it's checker. That's checker. Wait. You see it? Oh no, oh, it's, to it's totally gone, so that means it's either on the shovel or it's not silver, it's in the grass. No, never mind. Gonna be something that uh, was just in the grass, I guess. Oh, that sounds know. pretty sweet. Yeah, it doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. Come on. Oh no. Oh yeah. It's green. I don't like that. What is it? Oh, there she is. Can you figure it out? <laughs> We're swapping okay. rolls here. I think a rivet or something. Yeah, it does. I think it's a, oh, yeah, it's going to be there in a rivet. Oh man. It's a good sign. Most awesome. That's it's a good, really good, good sign. sign. That, that ding dong, too. That's a good sign. The ding dong. Yep. <laughs> uh, fish. On a lovely toothpaste tube. I say, uh, not not really good find. <laughs> put it in your little pot. Put it, put it in your little pot. He must just die. Well, I don't know where it is, but I got plenty. It's of not in there. Well, that's Dude. worth more than that barber. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? There it is. Oh, there she is. Blended See, I right found in. it. Yeah, that I found it. Go right side. back into the gas station. Yeah, store. and this is a couple other things you found. It's like um, that's like a ding dong. That's, that's a, a ding, ding dong. dong right there, and then this one. That's a uh, strap thing. Yeah, and, and that, that was Ben is... Franklin's telescope. Ben Franklin's. Or something. I think, no, this is probably like a, a, a whaling ship captain. See, you have yeah. whalers up here? Is this too far north? Yeah, you would have whalers. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. A telescope off a whaling ship. Must have been. Actually, it is. It is an eyepiece. It definitely is. Definitely. It's got the. Yeah. Uh, it's an threads. optic of some sort. We just don't know <laughs> why. Some <laughs> Now you keep in, you keep in contact with that guy. I'm keeping all your stuff, man. You should because I'm yeah. yeah. I'm like big old squeaker here, but unfortunately, what I do believe it is, are two little pyramids, probably for some old uh, game that they would play, like on whaling ships. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's exactly. <laughs> exactly what it is those are fishing weights by the way <laughs> lead fishing weights that two on there is uh 
See, there's a two right there. That means it's two ounces, so four ounces of lead. Huh? Ice. Yeah, it's got a little bit of ice, ice in it. Ice, ice, baby. Got Billy. Get the, uh, an aqua chig uh, fan, and he doesn't rub it when it's wet, but he says, I'll come back later and I'll show you what that it's is, and he never does. I always do. We don't do that. I we always rub do. them while they're wet. Yeah. Look at that beauty right there. Runs it out or it's right. wet, right? Yeah, oh, you got to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a beauty. Hmm. What's the closest to the Canadian border? Let's see that. The 20? 1920? Uh, 1920. Nice. Yeah, Congratulations, man. That's pretty cool right there. Canadian border here, why? You could take a big old loogie. So all Spit the coins up. have dual citizenship up here. <laughs> oh, that's worth a penny either place. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> Still in the hole. Still in the hole? Wow. I lost the signal though, so I probably... Oh, it probably fell in the loose dirt. Or it's in the grass Whoa. on top. Dude. On the shovel. <laughs> it's, it's funny, I, I, just did, I just did a whole video segment doing exactly that. Looking at all my shovel, looking at the bottom of the hole. Because <laughs> I couldn't find it again. That signal's gone. I don't remember where it was, but... Ah, there it goes. You're not getting in trouble, are you? No, I don't believe it. It's yeah. a squeaker. I'm not getting it every time, though. Yeah, a little bit of something there. This could be so deep, you weren't picking it up with that small coil. Yeah, I just uh, wasn't good enough that I would have been interested in digging it anyway. I mean, I could hear it on your machine, though. It was definitely uh, louder. Yeah, it's down there. That's down. <laughs> That's got to be four feet deep almost, man. <gasps> awesome. What is it? <gasps> oh, dude, what the heck is that thing? It's big and round. Uh, let's see it. Oh, I, I gotta see it, man. <laughs> I know you don't even want to show it to the camera, do you? <laughs> oh, my heart skipped a beat, too, though. I'll, I'll have to admit. <laughs> that probably goes off like a whaling ship. Yeah, it's a big old uh, coppery, brassy washer of some sort. Kind of neat, though. I mean, it's different. Billy's not impressed. Could have, been a coin. <laughs> Could have been a coin that deep. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, that was good. Yeah, I got that smaller coil. I could barely hear it with that thing. I wouldn't have never dug it with that. You got to do that. Sure. It's off a lantern. That should go right in. That would be the flagship of the fleet of your collection, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, pretty right much. Relic room. Pretty yeah. much. <laughs> and I found this piece of chrome off a car, I guess. Yeah. I think it's that. So I think it's a silver coin I just dropped. Yeah. Silver coin you dropped just dropped one over here, didn't you? Yeah, I threw down it about six inches. Poor guy to find something. Yeah. He's got one of them planters. You got to watch him. He's a little shifty. <laughs> no, that sounds good. Ooh. I didn't think it was very deep. Yeah. Sounds good. What is it? <gasps> oh. Ooh. 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 Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Chrome. What is that? Aluminum? Oh wow. Image of something. Yeah, it's aluminum. Oh, that was a good one. The moon? I thought I had a good one. Mm. It looks like that thing off of Disney. Like Almost that. like a part of a clock. Yeah. You know, the innards of the clock. That's you really nice, Billy. That's, that's good find right there. Is it? <laughs> looks like kids would be that's gonna go, that. That's going to go right my case. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got what's left, one of them old spoons there. Yeah. I don't know if it's pewter, it might be copper. Yeah, I, th I it's think it's copper. pewter, dude. Is it? Yeah, I it's think so. It's up like pewter. Yeah. I think it's an old, it's kind of light, but yeah, that's an, that's an old pewter spoon, man. That's yeah, awesome. That's that's, old that's older than me. Got by a couple of years. <laughs> I'm going to have to get my machine back out now. i just been yeah, digging uh, pieces so. of chrome. <laughs> Yeah, all right. That's uh, it's probably a coin in here. That's probably the last signal of the day for me, and that is the handle of a handgun. 
Now it's probably like just a little cap gun. That's just the inside of it, but all right, that's probably gonna do it for me. Uh, Billy's over there talking to the land uh, property owner. He's gonna give him that uh, spoon, the silver spoon that he found. Okay, so we have about uh, an hour or so left of the day. We went to a new location, really beautiful here. There was a an old 1700s house somewhere right in here. Billy thinks it might be in that area, but you can look out over the water here. Just a gorgeous lot. He's cranking away down there over iron. Bunch of old apple trees. Old camper. <laughs> Let's get to digging, what do you say? Hopefully we can get one or two good things out of here before it gets dark. I just found a nice, uh, cool little baby flat iron. This is a, uh, what had a handle on it. It's really small. It's, you would have put this on a wood stove, heat it up. That's how you would iron your clothes back in the old days. Uh, real heavy, thick cast iron. So it would hold the temperature for a little while. And uh, when you were doing the uh, ironing, you'd probably have like three of the, two or three of these. So you would iron with one for a few minutes and when it get a little bit cooler, you set it back on the stove, grab another one and keep ironing and just keep rotating them. That must've been a real pain, huh? <laughs> Too bad the handle's missing. We were up on the hill there uh, digging a few minutes ago. I just wanted to come down by the water. I wonder what the heck that thing is. Isn't that weird? Big old concrete something. Well, that's an old chimney. That's an old chimney pile. Look, there's bricks in it. Um, yeah, this might have been part of a house or something, or cistern maybe. Privy. <laughs> it might have been an old outhouse. Yeah, you can see where the pipe went right there. It's probably an old outhouse or something. That's uh, where the toilet seat would be up in there. Could be totally wrong about that, but. It's a brick down there. So we're gonna go down here by the water and see if there was, might have been an old house here one time and see if it's washed into the uh, shingle there. These are old uh, fish boxes and stuff. Huh. Get down here. Wait, watch your step. I could be seeing those uh, iron stained rocks too up in this pile. All right, I know they're bricks. Look, there's a brick there. That's an old chimney pile or something, man. I have to, I have to get the machine out and uh, <laughs> turn it on at least. There's not too much iron in here. I, there are some bricks, a few squeaks here and there, but there's uh, some iron here I can just see. That's part of a wood stove, I believe. That's one of the plates on it. This is an old bone. I wonder if it's human. I don't think so. That's been cut, so somebody made a stew out of that. It's probably an old cow or something. All right, we'll look up here on the hill just a little bit. I'll let you know what I find. Hawk's starting to come out, starting to get cold, wind's blowing, nose is running. <laughs> All right, so there's like almost no iron up here, so I think this must be where they just dumped a bunch of stuff. Again, there was an old house up on the hill. Maybe this is part of the bricks and stuff they brought down here. I think they probably just like dumped it here to try to save this bank. I can see that pile right there with the bricks, but there's very little iron all through here. So there's no way there's a house here. I just found this kind of weird rock. It's kind of real flat on this side. It's got a hole through it, which is unusual for the rocks uh, up, you know, up here like this on the beach. I don't know if that was drilled out for a reason. You know, uh, Native Americans could have drilled it out. I'm going to throw that in the bag and we'll think about that one a little bit. So what do you think, Captain Billy? <laughs> I think it's uh, time for a clam dinner. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> There's a lot of um, like a uh, little bit of junk up through uh, here. More modern, kind of modern stuff. Ooh, stuff, yeah. yeah, that's ugly. That's ugly. All right, fellas, I'm going to call it a day for sure. And uh, I think Billy's going to dig for about another hour or so until it gets dark. <laughs> He's not listening. I don't blame him. We'll see you next time. We're going to get out again, hopefully tomorrow. Oh, it's supposed to rain. Well, it's supposed to snow tonight. And tomorrow it's supposed to rain real hard. So we may not get out tomorrow, but we'll get out the day after that, if nothing else. We'll see you then, I hope.
She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saying